And, you know, I think once more Jokers realize that and get really proficient with just getting outside of people's burst ranges, that could be one of the most powerful weapons in the game. No, yeah, and I mean, I do have a Joker secondary myself. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, untapped potential with uh, that neutral B in terms of a uh, movement capability that is yet to be explored. And it looks like Felix, uh, through that small warm-up, might be exploring some of that a little bit here as we move into Loser's Finals. Grumback with Felix versus Cross for tonight. It is indeed a, a run back from a winner's semifinals, but this time, instead of competing for the um, right to play against Schroeder, they're competing for the right to play against Schroeder. That's right, that's correct. And, Where have uh, I seen this before? I mean, to be honest, it's deja Every vu. Week. I mean, I mean, exactly. <laughs> it is definitely deja vu that we're witnessing right now. But so far, I mean, the, yeah, the Joker kick is definitely making things a little bit more interesting. But hey, Frost is uh, not not letting it trip him up. Definitely not wasting any moment to land a solid punish that he just saw there on that S smash for the first stock in his favor. Yep, yep. And you know, the battle for second place has been a very interesting one in the past couple of weeks. There's a lot with the position changing hands numerous times, and tonight Felix is looking to get there through. Uh, Different methods than usual. Uh, you know, Fox has been a tool that she has. Or she, I didn't say that, I'm sorry. That they have uh, very minimally utilized tonight. Uh, and instead, they're opting a lot more for their counter picks. That's right. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of our counter picks uh, being opted in, as you said. But uh, right now, the the picks that we're seeing are seem to be playing out pretty evenly for both of these players. As now our scent is out, but. I mean, because of that fact, we, we might not be seeing a tie for very long, but it seems like it's going to be Frost that is definitely playing with an intent to pull out in front as we will get a solid stream from him for Felix offstage. Excellent counterplay by recovering at the opportune time to catch Felix on his edge guard attempt. And now Frost is going to be controlling the stage, even catching the roll get up option with an F tilt to pull out in front despite being at 100%. My favorite thing about Frost as a competitor is that Frost is potent throughout the entire course of the match. They're never out of control. Even when they're, you know, in, in disadvantage for a long time, they take a lot of percents, maybe they're down a couple stocks, Frost is never, ever, ever out of any match they play. They never give up on themselves or the match, and, and that is something that very few competitors can really do. And I respect the living hell out of them for it. That's a greed. That's a greed right there. There we go. And Great. Again. Oh, excellent string here coming out from Felix. Even bringing it all the way up to 63%, but our send is going to be no more as that meter drops back down to zero. But still picking up this pressure with these up airs and even going for a couple of backers in the neutral as well. Here comes Frost getting a grab, even catching the roll once again with that F to it, although it's not a sweet spot, but still a solid hit nonetheless. I think we're definitely starting to heat up on this last spot for both these players. Yep, this gets, where it gets really scary though if your name is Felix. Because any little interaction, if you if you're a, even a toe out of place, you can get hard punished and die. But there's again the F smash at ledge. This time go. not charged. Felix does it raw, and it is going to be taking the game last second. And now this time we see Felix going up in the set. 1-0. Yeah, really, really good call in that neutral get up. I got to say, man, I like I like what I'm seeing right now. Yep, Felix, uh, Felix's brain is, is working very well. As usual, <laughs> Felix is a very, like, very uh, smart player. I mean, that is just such an odd compliment to give. Like, yeah, that is a very functional brain you've got yourself there, I gotta say. Well, I mean, <laughs> look, 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 if you have to if you have to specify that the brain's working, yeah, auto, you would generally assume that means overtime, right? I guess, yeah. I don't know, I mean, I, I'm just like, Laird, I've got to say, man, really fun commentating with you these past couple of weeks. One thing I've got to point out is that you've got a very functional brain you've got yourself there, and I, I like to say. <laughs> hey, man, and your your tongue works very well, too. And I don't know, yeah. Is, hey, listen, uh, the fact that you're able to uh, say words onto the mic, very good. Very, very good to be able to do that, especially as complicated. Very <laughs> inspirational. Much yeah. like this uh, high octane gameplay from these two guys. You know, it's, I, I gotta be real with you, um, it would be very difficult for a lot of people to have a feel in a Smash scene where the number one player is so far ahead of everyone else, 
Yet Felix and, and, and Frost are, are two of, of the many players who consistently show up and, and you know, actually push Schroeder to the limit sometimes. Oh yeah, and they're, they're definitely pushing each other's limits right now. Even on this first stock, it's definitely heating up as an excellent Tetra card off stage from Felix is going to be pulling him out in front. But at 95%, Frost is not going to be too far away from time to sell. Definitely not. Again, Frost is one of those players who can kill at any percent, and there it is, the back air taking the stock, That's right. and it is just about even once again. There we go, excellent string, but just drops it only to pick it back up again. Down throw into patience. You know what? I gotta respect that. Down throw into patience. Pretty, pretty good follow up there, I gotta say. Don't wanna get Dude, too hasty in a moment like this. The, the top player, I think the thing that sets the, uh, the mid-tier players apart from the uh, upper mid or even high tier players is their ability to just drop guaranteed combos in order to get saucier punishes. Yeah, that, that's honestly a very important aspect to have to your gameplay if you want to be able to pull out in front of the competition. And right now, this competition is still heating up, but Frost is going to be laying on that heat as you have him in a one stock lead and still layering on this percent. I mean, again, Felix is doing a good job of uh, remaining, I won't say in the driver's seat, but they're not in the trunk with the uh, the keys in the... In the... No, not at all. Not at all, as we're seeing here. Right now, Felix is trying to get into that neutral a little bit more to close out this stock. He's very capable of doing so as he landed an excellent down smash punish. Tries to penetrate the tech card once again, but unable to do so. Gets a back here to break the shield and very gently pushes him off the edge to safely close it out and tie up the stock count at 55% deficit, which is very doable for a capable player like Felix. Right, right, and then being at 55% means uh, that Arsene could be making another appearance, assuming Frost can't take the stock super quickly. That's right. Here we go. I mean, yeah, this damage is starting to add up uh, for both players. Right now, Felix is, is at the percent where, like, if a, a, a strong, strong hit jab into Ooh, a backer will kill, but then again, Big Daddy Arsene is here. Yeah, we got Arsene here once again at 154, and Uppy from center stage will just be very, very close, but just not enough to close out this last dog on Felix. But an F to the center stage will definitely do the trick. Yeah, a little pivot boost on that as well to give it a little bit of extra distance uh, off of that dash. Great stuff there from Frost. We're going to a game three here uh, where it is one apiece. And this set, I think, is going to be here to stay. Going to distance. Yeah, definitely going to distance this time around. And here we go. We're making the pig back over to Battlefield, it looks like. And uh, I have to say, that this stage has been making for some pretty heated gameplay. Either that or, um, you know, they're, they're getting a feel for each other's play styles a little more. But we're definitely seeing a bit of an evolution uh, between these two in the neutral as these uh, games go on. Sure. Um, you know, I think Small Battlefield might have been one of the best stages added to Ultimate. I, I would say so, yeah. I love this stage, man. It, it's well, I mean, kind of like... I, I guess... Uh, I, I hate people. What? I was going to say, like, it, it definitely is the best because it's only, like, the widely accepted to be a legal stage. So. There yeah. is Northern Cave, but that one's a little bit more uh, contrived, uh, depending on which scene you first. Yeah, I personally like the uh, the stage list that we've been using uh, here in, in Tri-State with the, um, you know, our, 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 our opening five stages are um, Small Battlefield, Battlefield, FD, Smashville, and PS2. And then our counter pick stages are uh, Town and City and um, North Cave. That's actually, yeah, that's actually not bad. I, I, I want to do that again uh, just to run through that a little bit more, but right now it... Looks like this match is heating up once again with the small battlefield pick, which, like we said, is a really great stage, and it seems to be uh, that both these players are taking a really good advantage of it as well. Uh, these platforms are definitely coming into play, and Frost and almost tying up the stock count here, but just shy of doing so. 
these platforms are definitely doing a great job of helping them out with that there. But Felix right now is still going to be in front if at 129%. So he's on his toes right now, but still in the lead. Great to see. Look at that. Excellent spacing there for Frost. Just avoiding the dash attack and uh, you know, just, just doing what he has to to try and close this out. Uh, bring bring this stock count back to a tie without sustaining too much damage himself. So doing a great job at uh, uh, accomplishing that objective right now. And you can very much tell the fight about, space now. That's what he wants. The thing about Cross is that um, despite having all this kill power, he rarely gets over aggressive uh, to push for kills. He plays as patient as he needs to be, uh, all the while keeping himself super safe. Uh, and rarely overextending. The problem right now is that it might be time to start getting a little bit desperate because look, that Arsene did quite a number on you and uh, you're at hundred percent when uh, Felix is starting their stock on the same percent. That's right. Here we go, we got our down throw. We got our, not our up air. We, we got pretty close to it too, but Felix does have the right idea. Just needs to work on the execution a little bit more, but despite that, is still very much in the lead at 126 and climbing with that excellently spaced Aha as well. Good attempt at the up smash, but equally good shield from Cross to avoid getting hit by it as well. There we go, we almost got our Jeff smash, but not gonna quite gonna close it out just yet. Patience on the down throw, which is nice to see, but that pressure on the up tilt is going to be just enough to poke through and land that last hit that counted towards an entire stop against Frost. Yeah, that up tilt's a move I don't see utilized too often, but uh, a great, great recognition from Felix, knowing that that would do it. Um, yeah, the and again, variant is actually really good. Right, again, despite the deficit that Frost was at, not out of this game yet, not even by a long shot. Yeah, there it is, it's an even game again. There we go. Yep, perfectly even across the board. Tied stock count for both of these players, and it is definitely starting to get down to the wire. And I mean, as you take a look up top as well, the, the, the uh, game count is tied as well, so this is going to be a tiebreaker. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and that momentum speech, whoever wins this, it's going to be riding high going to the next game. That's for sure, yeah, they're going to have a lot of momentum to work with. Right now, it's going to be more so a matter of who can retain that lead and push out in front for this game. Dude. This is super tense right now because Arsene's back. And Frost just kind of has to wait it, wait it out, bleed, bleed the uh, Arsene meter away. Great patience! Oh, no, not going to make it but, just yet though. Yeah, they went for the Jeff smash, overextended just a little bit, and made a monster punish for it. But it is gone. The big scary man is away. And this is oh. this is the percent where uh, Felix dies. Yeah, this is sounding to be about it right now. Go good back here. I don't here. know though. Felix in a very good way. Oh, well, excellent job okay. taking though from Felix. Right. Okay. Cross kind of throwing out moves, getting a little bit antsy, more so than usual. Nice forward air to catch an up smash. Well. Oh, okay, doesn't get hit by anything, not even a grab. Cross running around, gets a grab, Ooh, not gonna be able to kill. Good job the grab. Yeah, every, every single percent is gonna be down counting air. right now, but a down air straight off of the main platform is going to be closing out the third game. And Felix is favorite. Great stuff. Let's see that one more time. Got the dash tag and immediately off the platform gets that down there. I like the spacing. I like the timing and the positioning. I like it a lot. Great stuff on, on his part there. Yeah, and that's absolutely huge for momentum here. We might be getting a Felix and uh, Schroeder Grand Finals if Frost can't do anything about this. I know they can, but... I'm starting to see a lot more frustration than I'm used to coming out of Frost. Mm -hmm. Now he, he's definitely trying to get himself into Grand Finals this time around. And like we mentioned, um, Frost actually does have a higher win count uh, between the two of these players on one another. It's 8-6 uh, to six, uh, from what I last saw on the records that I pulled up. So given that he's usually used to having the download, it seems like this Joker pick is um, just just enough unfamiliarity for it to be a little bit overwhelming with the Right, there's some similarities between Joker and Fox, but not enough for it to be an accurate comparison to what we, uh... Exactly. And even what that, the that set count makes you believe. 
Yeah. Right, and, and you know, even if like uh, Cross, who plays at a high level, is used to going up against a top level character like this, uh, again, uh, there, there's so many different ways that uh, talented players such as Phoenix have ways of expressing themselves with these characters that Frost just might not be acquainted with this just yet. And there we nice go. Look raw at that up smash. smash. Not gonna kill though. Great PI. Oh, but the Arsene up there is gonna be killing. Great way to punch right. that landing. Or the attempted landing, I should say. But that Nair, very close to killing as well. Frost going up and deep. Not gonna kill just yet though. That's right, not just yet. Waiting on the neutral getup, uh, but instead gets met with the getup attack. And now at 151, Felix is gonna be on the ropes with his third stock. And there you go, run up and F2 is gonna be just what Frost needs to tie up the stock count. But 22% is definitely a doable comeback as well, as he's pulling out in front ever so slightly with every given neutral exchange. Yeah, man, boys knock back a damage out, but it's absolutely absurd right now. But hey, Arsene gives the same buff to the uh, to the Joker with literally every single one of their attacks. Oh yeah, I gotta say so as well. I definitely something good to call out. Right. Oh, but the Blazer goes through the platform, a little bit of extra damage on it, and uh, that Arsene expires a little bit quicker than uh, expected because of that. That's right. Here we go, that forward air is going to be landing, it's going to be the soft hit. Tries to apply some pressure on the shield with jabs, and we're seeing that multiple times over. Got the dash attack to push Frost off stage, but it's met with an upbeat to get back onto the stage. And now our neutral has been reset, both of them are on the main platform right now. We're going to get a little bit of gun pressure from a safe distance from Felix, but we got our Jared. No confirm on that stock yet, as it was from center stage. You can see the dangling on the ledge a little bit to delay his recovery. Gonna see that once again. Oh, gets a little bit of a mix up in there with the Aha. Very smart maneuvers here, but Frost is gonna be the wiser and put that shield up just in time. Yep, yep, and this is a very big situation here. A grab. I, I love that. The uh, the grab release off of a couple pummels uh, to prevent the Arsene from coming out. Good, that good, was good. That well was scouted good. from Frost. That was a very nice maneuver there. See, that's why you scared the R set. Oh! Another good call out from Frost. Frost, I think, has the download right now. Yeah, it definitely seems to, to have exactly that. Up smash. There we hit. go. Great whiff punish. Yeah, nice finisher. Our boy. Roy's our boy. Woo! Roy's our boy, man, at 152%. And climbing, but a forward air is gonna, or a forward uh, throw, I apologize, is gonna be coming out as close to a down throw like I would have actually expected. Um, so Felix is gonna be not closing up this fog just yet. And here we go, I believe it's gonna be coming out right now? No? I believe down throw early would be the stop. Oh, that F tilt's gonna kill. Yeah, waiting out the neutral get up with that F tilt, and that's gonna be tying up the stock down here. Yeah, we didn't have to hear send a little bit. Yeah. Alright, and the forward are gonna take him down to a low half. Eftel takes him down even lower still. And our send meter is nearly gone. Only 45% was uh was taken off of that. that. That was a good burnout from Frost. But now comes the hard part, taking the game. Yeah, taking the game is gonna be uh where the real challenge comes from, because Frost is definitely not going to let this 3-1 to one win come easily, it looks like. In the back there is so potent. Not going to be killing just yet, though, but Felix is at the ledge. Yep, one good ledge trap, and it's over. Oh, yeah, there that's going to be closing out right there. Yes, sir. But this is Felix counterpick, and they have a ton of characters that uh, Frost might not be ready for. They either let it rock with the Joker, or they're going to throw something else at the board and see if it sticks. Yep, and that's what's going to be important right now is uh, to see what sticks or I guess what works the best for here for Felix because uh, this could, I mean, this has been a great Joker that we've seen tonight from him, uh, not just in this set, but uh, just overall tonight. But whether or not he's going to stick with uh, something that seems to be working out pretty well or something that he knows to work uh, for him always, that be his main. But it seems like the Joker pick is going to be a consistent one throughout the night as we run it back to game five for this set. And 
and Frost oh, is Frost's gonna get thirsty. some. Yeah, Frost is trying to get that uh, get some water. Looks like yeah, nice. Hey man, you know your your brain's gotta be aching after uh, thinking this hard. Trust me, I've been there. Uh, oh you yeah, gotta big stay brain hydrated plays. when you're gaming. Big brain plays right now for sure. That's right. There, there is some big brain play going on. So, uh, Frost needs to get that hydration in for sure. True. True, but but the thing is, if he gets second, he uh, pays for that drink with his winnings. Exactly. Thinking, Just saying. Thinking long term here. Thinking long term. Definitely I don't know what payout is. I, I'm assuming it's top three. Yes, it is top three. So right now they're all guaranteed some payout. Okay. Right, but right now it is going to be top three payout. Moving into game five. Same character picks for the both of these two here. So this is going to be coming down to uh, who's learned the most in these five games. That's what this is going to be uh, make or break for both of these two right now. Yes, sir. And now this is where it all comes down to. Um, I don't think either one of these players has more momentum than the other, especially after the break. Um, mm. I, I, I think... The, uh, I don't know. I don't know who to give the advantage to. I, I, I really want to say Frost, but Felix has been doing just enough really crucial, uh, important, good stuff to, you know, keep my interest a little bit. Right. Yeah, he's and definitely again, been uh, yeah. someone to keep an eye on throughout this entire tournament, I gotta say. Oh, I mean, the entire past couple months. And there's the down air, giving Felix a huge lead and about a quarter, three quarters of an hour send to work with. A really strong start to this last game here, and the uh, Sand is still going to be active. You're going to get Tetracarn, almost getting an AHA, but definitely does get a forward tilt for some additional damage. And up to 95%, the Helix goes, but still finally on this percent, not wasting any time in this stock event. Yeah, and again, this is a deficit for Frost, but Frost can bring this back like nobody else. That's correct. This man does not get rattled whenever he's at a deficit. Yeah, that is definitely something that we have not been seeing. Uh, very, very strong determination here coming out from there. Yeah, the resolve to win can turn the tide of any match. Frost has it in spades. Definitely right does now, have this that. unrelenting pressure from Felix Ooh. is a little bit too much, and we see the hand slap. I definitely think Frost is starting to feel it a little bit. Yeah, Frost is starting to get in a little bit of a uh, disadvantageous mindset as uh, two stocks are in favor of Felix. He seems, still seems dead set on closing it out as we land a solid parry in the F-Tilt and Frost is starting to get back into this game if only it ever so... He's starting to make those steps, you know what I mean? And that, that one stock is going to be a big step forward. Right, and once he takes a step, he starts striding in just a second as uh, we see a 50% combo coming out. Yeah, very, very solid percentage here. Right, already at 72, but this is Arsene on deck. Frost needs to play super careful if they uh, want to have a better chance of winning this thing. Like, treading on eggshells here. Yeah, every percent is going to be counting, and every percent is going to count for Felix, too, as this Arsene is halfway through its run. Here we go, down throw oh, into up air. Almost gets another up air. Frost parried the first hit of that down air. Not the second, though. They're still going to get hit for a lot of damage. This is tournament stock for both of these players. Winner right. advances to grand finals and plays against Schroeder. Loser falls out at third place. That's right. So this is going to be make or break for the both of them here. Felix is trying to get an up air string going, but is unable to do so right now. Getting a little bit of gun pressure from a distance. Tries to read the roll option, but doesn't quite do so with the right timing. And Frost is still going to be keeping himself in at 118%. Dude, this is so tense. But hey, I mean, if, if Frost wants to win this, barring an early kill, they need to get through at least one Arsene. And that is the scariest part of the situation he's in right now. Yeah, that is quite And the thing is, Felix could just stall until they get there. That's right. Go. Excellent dash attack here from Felix, putting Frost off stage. Will he be able to get back on? Neutral getup into shield is going to be what he needs to get back onto the stage at 151%. Oh, there is the first hit of so down air, only to be met with the second hit into up air to close out the set at game 
five and Felix on the Joker pick, tried and true for the night, is going to be taking him into grand final. 